A core mechanism utilized to protect integrity is the concept of hashing. A sample hash function looks like the one seen here. But what is hashing? Hash functions create message digests from larger files. Hashing is the transformation of a string of characters into a usually shorter fixed length value or key that represents the original string. It's used to index and retrieve items in a database because it's faster to find items using the shorter hash key than to find it using the original value. The values returned by hash functions are called hash values, hash codes, digests, or simply hashes. As mentioned, hashing is one of the core controls used to protect integrity. It does this by utilizing a mathematical algorithm. The unique digest that is yielded from the algorithm serves as a fingerprint for the file. Any alterations to that file changes the digest. In other words, if the short piece of data has changed, we know that the fingerprint of the file has changed, which means that there has been an alteration to that file. Let's take a closer look. I encourage you to practice along with me. If you go to the site listed here, www.miraclesalad.com slash webtools slash md5.php, you will have access to a MD5 hash generator. I have gone ahead and opened up this link on my browser. And as you can see here, we have an input box where we can enter any string we want. We can simply copy and paste information here, or we can type in whatever we want. For our example, I'm going to type in a random sentence. I like to drink coffee. As you can see, the MD5 hash generator is providing us with a hash that begins with the characters C, C, 4, and ends with F, 3, F. But what happens if I change the word coffee to water? As you can see, the whole hash changes. Now our hash begins with 090 and ends with 2FB. By looking at the hash, we know that this file has been altered. But what happens if we go ahead and change the water, the word water, back to coffee? As you can see, we are right back to where we started. CC4 and F3F are the beginning and ending of our hash that's been generated. This is a very important concept because it indicates that any alteration or tampering of the file would be reflected in the change in hash.